Himi Gouache. This is the box. It's actually huge, this box. So if I want to go outside, I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it with me. And it's heavy and big and got uh, 24 paints, all are sealed. And uh, this is the palette. Actually, I like it, white, nice. They include uh, three brushes. They're quite nice as brushes. And this is the brush number four. So this is the jelly cup. And uh, let's uh, see how they're gonna open. No, oh, it's quite easy. Really easy peel out. And again, so easy. I'm just pointing to easy because uh, I watch few um, YouTubers and they are using some strange tools to open and I was afraid how I'm gonna open it's just spinning so easy I don't know where was the deal in this uh, the other people videos look at that how it's easy and I peel without any problems at all They've got jelly on the top. You can see when I open. They've got jelly at the top. I can you cannot see here because it's dark. So all of this uh, need to be mixed. So I was uh, mixing every single jelly cap. By the way, it's a jelly cup for people who are reviewing this uh, Himi. Note, just notice, it's a not jelly, it's a not jelly gouache, it's a jelly cup. So it's a gouache in jelly cups. And this is the different. When I watch some programs about on YouTube, people saying it's a jelly gouache jelly gouache, it's not jelly gouache, it's like jelly cups. And this is, you can see here, the oil on the top. And this is every single need to be mixed up before use. So I'm um, mixing up every single jelly cup. Obviously this is a, a binder. But, and I think uh, Arabic uh, gum is explained in the description when I read. And this is again, you can see more, the Arabic gum and uh, mixing up slowly. They are quite full, these uh, jelly cups, so we need to be careful and just make all my hands dirty at the end. <laughs> Some of uh, the paints are quite hard. I think it depends on um, colors, what they're using to produce. But then when you mix it up, they are nice uh, and smooth, creamy, really nice. I really like it. Yeah. 
Here we go, my hands after mixing up all paints. So now I'm taking a um, paint straight away from the uh, cup and uh, adding a little bit uh, of water and mixing up a little bit more, mixing up uh, for uh, like a creamy mixture, not too much water. Let's see how it's going. I must say when I painted this, it's just nice and smooth, I really like it. I have no issue at all, it doesn't stick to the brush, some people complain, it stick to the brush, it's difficult uh, on the paper, uh, you can see I have no issue at all. Really, really nice. I'm really happy. When I'm mixing this uh, paint, I'm adding just a drop of water, have you noticed? Just a drop of water and still it will be quite thin, like a watercolour. But actually you want to have a gouache, not a watercolour. Some people like to use as a watercolour and some people like to thick uh, paint of gouache. At this point I want to try more like a watercolor so I'm adding more water to this uh, paint and let's see what's gonna happen it's quite nice really watery still got paint it actually looks like watercolor really nice the smooth it's binding together I really like it On this uh, orange uh, color, I didn't add any water. I have taken the paint straight away from uh, the tube, from this cup. And I must say, this is what I like, a gouache, because it reminds me 
like an oil painting and this paint actually this gouache from this jelly cups they are like uh, uh, oil paints and this is another color which I didn't use water at all and uh, this is how nice uh, look I'm really happy with this uh, Himi gouache really recommending and now on the top I did add quite a lot of water I want to see what is the difference and actually it's lighter, watery and actually like a watercolor looks really nice this one I did uh, completely watery I added actually plenty of water and looks really nice no problems smooth on the top now I'm putting to this flower I did straight away from the cup and no added uh, water so I want to see how it's reacting on the top it's really nice working no problem at all Here I added plenty of water and actually I use uh, this like a purpley color color should be white but obviously I'm not gonna put white on the white paper so I did uh, very watery and uh, on the top I have added just white without any water straight from the cap
here on the top I put uh, the paint without uh, water and the bottom I did add water I want to see how this color reacting with the water looks really nice very smooth Here the pink one seems more magenta. I did use without uh, water on the top. On the bottom you can see it's a watery like a watercolor. So I added uh, quite a lot of uh, water to see how it's working. It's really nice blending together. This beige on the top, no water. I really like this, like a uh, oil paint. The bottom you can see very watery. I add plenty of water. This color, the same top without any water. It's really working like oil, oil paints. Really happy with this um, Hemi gouache. The bottom you can see very watery like watercolor and uh, it's draining so fast drain quite quick when it's a thin layer so actually it's good and um, this one the same top is without water and the bottom with plenty of water it's working quite good so overall, I like uh, this Himi gouache. I'm so happy. This I did a little bit uh, different color, like an orange color on, well, they call orange, the other one light orange. And this is ochre on orange, no water. So I'm trying all different techniques how it's working and it's not blending from the bottom I mean I think if I'm gonna put more water it will but this is more dry so it's keeping nice So uh, overall, Himi gouache, quite good for this price. It's very good for illustrations, uh, some paintings. Uh, I'm really happy. So I hope uh, I'm gonna use it uh, often. And then let's see on a few months uh, when it's gonna be dry. It's gonna be working the same way. Thank you for watching.